So here is the Nomad. Um, we're going to do a little quick overview of the Nomad itself and then walk through a brewing with it. Fortunately, uh, preparing coffee with a Nomad is pretty darn simple, uh, which is one of the reasons it's actually quite an awesome brewing tool. Um, so here's the machine. This is what comes with it. You have the Nomad and the Tamper. Um, the uh, the basket here, where the coffee goes, is uh, three parts, and this fits pretty snugly in there. It's part of the sealing process that produces the pressure that you need for espresso. So, it comes with this basket. Um, the basket sits in here, and this is actually the uh, their true crema valve, which helps create the pressure that is necessary for preparing espresso. Um, you can actually remove this, which I haven't done yet. Um, I've been told that you can just take this off, um, but I haven't done that. If you do that, then the grind size and your tamp technique becomes super critical. Um, you're going to be brewing just fine with it on there, so I would highly recommend not doing that unless you fancy yourself, uh, I don't know, a bit of an explorer, a bit of an artisan perhaps, and you want to play around with your techniques. Okay, so um, these are all the pieces. This is technically a piece. That's the uh, water tank in there. Um, and then this is the Nomad itself. Uh, you'll see there's a handy pressure gauge on the top here. When we, um, uh, so the process here is we're going to add the coffee and then we add boiling water into the tank and then we do the pump action um, and the, the pressure gauge will allow us to stay at about eight to nine bars of pressure creating a pretty spot on espresso. You can actually get multiples of these. Um, so it comes with one set, but it looks like you can you can buy uh, extras of these if you want to have spares. Or uh, interestingly enough, this tank holds way more water than you need for a single espresso. So um, I think theoretically you could prepare and do multiple espressos at once. Um, I think theoretically I don't know if that would how that would turn out, but um, it's just a thought. Uh, okay, so uh, we're gonna walk through making an espresso here. Um, I've already ground the coffee. One of the things that's really nice about the uh, the Nomad here is I can use this hand grinder. Uh, usually, if you want or need a hand grinder for making espresso, you have to get. Um, well, right now, there's really only one good portable hand grinder, quote-unquote portable. The Lido hand grinder makes an espresso uh, quality grind. Most of the hand grinders can't get that fine. Um, and that's usually a problem. But the True Crema Valve makes up for some of the... Uh, pressure problems that happen when you don't have a fine enough grind. That's really what happening. what is happening in, in the creation of espresso is um, the coffee, the fineness of the coffee in the basket is part of the pressure process. Um, so you're passing or passing really hot water through coffee grounds at about eight to nine bars of pressure um, or 135 pounds per square inch or something like that. And it's not just the machine that does that, it's also how the coffee is sitting in the basket or the porta filter if you think of a regular espresso machine. Um, but with this guy, I've been able to use this nice hand grinder. I still have to grind as fine as I can with this, um, but you'll see I've been able to make some pretty good espresso. Um, the tamp is still important, but technique seems to be um, like I just, you'll see what I do. I just tamp it down and make sure it's flat. Um, I'm going to be brewing into this, so uh, what you'll notice is that the 
espresso comes out of here and this is enough space to fit a demi-tasse cup which I don't have don't have those um, I'll be serving the espresso in one of these which does not fit under there uh, I could elevate this um, but that thus far has been pretty precarious so I will just be making the espresso in here and this happens to be about the right size uh, I'm putting in about 16 grams of coffee and uh, 16 grams ground coffee in here and um, I'll be getting something like 35 to 40 out on this side so what I'll do is I'll put about uh, 16 grams of coffee in here. Um, it is going to depend on the on the roast, but I kind of uh, fill it up till it's slightly mounted over this, and I can f uh, kind of flatten it out uh, with my finger. Um, you'll see in the demonstration. Uh, basically, I don't fret too much about exactly how much coffee I'm putting in here. Uh, I've been kind of eyeballing it just because I wanted to see how well I can make espresso without worrying about the preciseness. And it's very, very possible with this, and that's what I want to show you how to do. Um, so I'm actually going to load this up with, uh, with coffee right now. Um, I think I ground a little too much, so I'm going to have to do this kind of off camera. But here's the other reason why the this Porlex Mini is so wonderful is because it fits in there and I can so easily load coffee uh, but I'm gonna do this over the sink and I'll be right back all right well as I suspected I ground a little too much coffee um, but uh, what I did is I just kind of leveled this out roughly um, and now I'm going to tamp um, and uh, it's uh, it's not terribly important that you keep coffee off this white part um, but around here is very important the the machine seals around this metal basket um, but the coffee's in and now I use a pretty decent amount of uh, pressure and I also try to make sure it's even and flat, which is a little challenging to do. But um, I discovered that um, tamping with a reasonable amount of pressure is necessary on this, on this device. Um, and essentially, we need to make sure that the coffee is sealed around the, the edges and it's flat and roughly uniform uh, in terms of where the coffee is distributed. If, if it's not flat, if it's not sealed around the edges, when we um, pump water through here, it's going to take the path of least resistance through here. And if it's uneven, then it will not, the, basically the water will not go evenly through the coffee and we won't get a, a fantastic espresso. So that's really the only technique that's necessary. What I've been doing is I uh, place the tamper on here and then I just kind of um, judge by the edge of this how flat things are and then use the, the tamper to kind of figure out. Um, like right now, this edge over here is slightly higher. So I think I just push down there and that's how I've been kind of flattening it out and that looks pretty good so there's the uh, let's see if we can get that in the picture that is a tamped portafilter okay um, I'm gonna heat up the water uh, then the other nice thing about this machine is all you gotta do is boil the water and, and you just, you actually, you're supposed to put boiling water into the, um, into the water tank. Because the way it's constructed is, uh, basically you put boiling water in here and then water arrives here at the perfect temperature. 
that's the uh, short explanation. All right, so the water's boiling. I'm going to add the coffee. Espresso's gonna come out there. And now, I'm just gonna fill the tank up. Um, I pretty much always fill it up all the way. Even though I'm not gonna use all the water in here, I think, I believe it's important for, oops, important for the pressure. And I actually put too much in there, but, um, so uh, we're all ready here. I'm gonna do 10 pumps and then wait a moment as the water saturates the grounds. Kind of primes the uh, system. And now, what I'm doing is I'm getting the pressure up and we're at about eight bars now. Eight to nine. And that's looking really good coming out of there. And I'm eyeballing this, but you could weigh it on the scale. Um, that would probably be a good idea. But as we're about to be there, I'm just gonna stop. Pull that out. I probably should have had something there for that. But. Here's an espresso. It smells really good. I'm gonna pour this in here one second. So, here we have a really nice looking espresso. You can see it has really nice crema. Um, smells really fantastic. And tastes like it came from a really expensive espresso machine. Um, Interestingly enough, illustrating the importance of having a little something extra there to catch the drips. Um, but that is the Nomad. It's really easy to clean up afterwards. You just pop this out. And um, dump out your grounds and give it a rinse. Um, that's the Nomad. Thank you for watching. All right, I just wanted to show you what happens to uh, coffee after uh, after it's been used as espresso. This is the puck. It is the ground coffee that was tamped into the basket and then water was forced through it. Um, I mean, it's holding together like an actual puck. And um, you can see that it's pretty uniform. Um, so that would suggest that uh, the water passed through this pretty evenly, which is pretty sweet.